We used to define wealth as the amount of assets we own or how we engage with money in traditional ways. Now wealth is more than financial capital. It's about well-being, your relationships, and your community. What can you do with the money if you do not have a healthy body, a healthy mind? It's important for people to start investing in their health. This is how they can maintain a wealthy lifestyle. I'm traveling around the Emirates to see how people are redefining what makes a truly wealthy way of life. When I started seeing people stepping into their wealth, a lot of people get distracted with their mental health. My journey has taken me to meet Maryam, who defines wealth as a way of living an authentic life in harmony with yourself, the community, and the earth. So this is our space on the metaverse, and now this is your artwork. Wow. I'm Moeen al Bastiki, and I'm out and about in search of people with different perspectives on wealth. Maryam is a doctor specialized in family medicine, which looks at health from a bio, psycho, social perspective. But after working in the clinic, she started exploring other factors that affect health, such as emotions, texture, and color therapy. She creates art to help people transform their mind, body, spirit connection to achieve more balance and harmony using new technologies. Maryam was always interested in the human body and ways to make people feel better. Once she enrolled in the school, she started getting fascinated by the different elements of the psyche contributing to health. Now, in her path to find her own wealth, she decides to explore new methods to connect with her patients through art therapy space on the metaverse. I'm really looking forward to hearing more about this. Hi, Maryam. Hello, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, we too. We are finally here. Yes, please. Welcome. Maryam, thanks for inviting me over. Thank you. Such a lovely place. There's a lot to cover, but I'm going to start with this. How do you approach your work at this point in your life? Right now, I look at patients and clients from a holistic way. So trying to incorporate their whole well-being, their body, their mind, their spirit, and their well-being journey. This is the true wealth after all. For you, uh, well-being being wealth, you being a doctor, but is there any other strong reason behind that for you? A lot of people get distracted with their mental health. They can experience a lot of things alone, so it's important to create a safe space for people to connect their mind, their body, and their spirit. So inside these safe spaces, what could people do to invest in themselves? First of all, understanding themselves and then expressing it, uh, learning how to express some of those stagnant feelings, some of the traumas, uh, some of the experiences maybe that were never voiced out. So it's important to, to have a space for them to voice out those feelings and express them. They access spaces and platforms that help them express their feelings and places like that exist even in the virtual world and the metaverse you just mentioned metaverse so the art on the metaverse what could a person do to heal their wound there uh, the metaverse creates a beautiful safe space for people because first of all you have the anonymity you can create an avatar that can represent something that you're going through without you having to showcase it to the world especially in a world where there is stigma or there are taboos or maybe you are not ready to talk about the trauma that you went through or depression or anxiety or any of those uh, emotional and mental health uh, conditions that affect us on the daily. Society has become more accepting um, of the mental health issues, which has made it less stigmatized. So what is the me time to you and what can I do to restore my energy? I like to meditate. I like to spend some time reflecting, journaling, uh, creating art. And uh, I think we can do some exploration if, you, if you're interested right now in the studio. Let's do it. Maryam is an Emirati woman, and she sets a good example for all the others. Community-oriented, she's dedicated to understanding the dynamics of wealth and how it contributes to well-being, both in oneself and in others. She's a woman who enjoys empowering others, building up support networks, and using art to express themselves, enriching the lives of everyone. Her way of managing her own wealth is helping others to get more wealthy too. I just uh, actually started practicing this new technique, which is 
perfect for anyone, even people who have never explored art. Um, and it's called uh, Neurographica. I also have the laptop here to show you some of the experiences that we had on the metaverse. Let's meet your inner child. That's good. <laughs> yes, of course. Is there something that you want to change right now or you feel uh, is heavy in your experience? Let's do traffic. And what we're going to do is, first of all, I want you to connect to that feeling when okay. you are stuck in traffic, when you have access to that just mm. like put the pen vertically mm. and then just scribble as if you're scribbling all those emotions out on the paper wow okay for three seconds خلاص. so this is the problem right now we we took that emotion we put it on the paper in this technique what we do is we try to round those edges when you round you know you you're actually inviting more ease the act itself is very peaceful but also you're taking charge of that emotion the beauty of this work is there are tools for everyone someone might not resonate with the color and shapes they can resonate with sound all these tools help you heal you went into medicine mm -hmm. being a doctor mm -hmm. and then these new methods i'm sure there is gonna be in your life a turning point i remember very clearly it was my first uh, surgical patient he didn't want to be uh, on medications i felt that it was not managed well in a way that could have saved that guy's leg that's when i started researching other ways of uh, helping people connect to their health. The next part, we're going to pick a color or two. I want you to color big, big groups of uh, lines. You had discussed this with your family members. What happened then when you transitioned from a classical way of medicine to a different, more innovative way? We have a ritual now with all my brothers and sisters okay. and we have like a huge canvas on the floor and we all create together especially with kids they really understand even the older uh, members of the family they know that you know when people come together sit together create together that brings in harmony the last thing is called fixation usually the round shape means solution and harmony i want you to take this the red and create a big round shape now you're fixing the solution. You can see that the solution is covering the problem and also the problem is there, but it's dissolved in the matrix. So now that you have your masterpiece here, we're gonna shift it to the metaverse. We spoke earlier about the metaverse being an all-inclusive place for all artists. So we're gonna start by looking at the metaverse space we have, and then maybe we can explore it together. Yes, I'd love to know everything about it. Cool. Okay, so first I'll take a picture. So this is our space on the metaverse. Mm -hmm. And now this is your artwork. Wow. And this is the metaverse space. You have access to all the different artworks also. Is it going to be the future? Mm. For sure, it will create access for people who are unable to leave their homes and to go to facilities where they can explore art and heal and, and maybe even sell their art. So some of the women we feature also are artists or emerging artists, and they can have access to those spaces where they can sell their art as NFTs. How the definition of wealth have influenced yours and the people you are helping's life? When I decided that people need to take charge, they need to be the leaders of their health, that in order for them to uh, live a wealthy lifestyle, they have to actually uh, have autonomy on their health, on their choices, every choice they make. That's when uh, I started seeing people stepping into their wealth and actually having an enriched life where luxury is about, you know, being able to breathe freely, to move your body completely, to be able to sleep at night, to wake up with energy. So it is those things that actually uh, make a healthy and a wealthy life. Once I started seeing those changes in people and started even living those changes in my own experience, I think that's when I decided that this is going to be the new definition of wealth for me. I can't thank you enough for the time you've spent explaining this and taking me through it. Thank you, shukran. Meeting Maryam has helped me understand the power of colors, shapes, and space in creating an environment of healing, and that there are many ways to achieve well-being intrinsically and in the ecosystem. After all, none of that would be possible without the financial security of a sound wealth management plan. And that's exactly what City Gold can help you with, enabling you to map out a future where your hard-earned wealth allows you to pursue your own vision of a truly rich and meaningful life.
Your journey to redefine wealth may be a unique and personal one, but it's a journey you don't need to be on alone.